Hi. Have a look at this Microsoft Power Automate community thread. The user asking here unknown error when adding to table. So what the user trying to do here is he's trying to creating a worksheet and creating a table then dynamically mapping the table under the add rows to a table then also mapping the values which is coming from another list of the table and finally the user getting the error saying a value must be provided for item so I had some communications communication with the user regarding you know what what does it trying to do and um, I finally managed to replicate this issue here so first of all I'm going to replicate the issue here and show you how to correct that issue okay this is my Excel online business and the, it's called list rows present in a table Okay, the next one I'm going to add create add sorry not create add a row into a table. Okay, so for that what user did here is the table name is coming from a variable. So I'm going to add a compose and um, I got a table called EMP and under the table um, I'm going to say enter a custom value and mapping that output so here now you can see it says give me the row values then so row to add into the specified Excel table and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to map the value here okay so that's back to the community question so that's exactly it's happening here so ignore the apply to each that's because uh, here the user is trying to map one of the variables coming from the list table non loop I think um, and um, then you know it's trying to do the add row this is where the issue is the error which I can replicate now so let's see now so I'm going to run this flow now okay so flow ran successfully but there is an error here so the error is a value must be provided for the item I believe that's what the user is getting here a value must be provided for the item okay so how to fix this so you may notice that I was trying to map the whole row value the value here under the row so this is an array a set of values here so if I go to show row output you can see the value contains the status code headers body you know everything sorry not that the list rows value it is yeah so if you click the download so you can see that's the value is trying to map here see that that's what is happening here so it's trying to map uh, you know the all data the item internal field got a lot of things here so how can how can I fix this then right so what here I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to update one of my employees dot XLS file yeah that's what I'm trying to update here so let me show you my employee file looks like that's what my Excel file looks like I got an ID column name and postcode 
So to update that, what we need to do here is, and I'm going to add a compose here. So add an action and call compose. And inside the compose, I need to make a JSON formatted value here, ID. So I'm going to hard code at the minute. Uh, no, uh, probably I could map that coming from the previous value here. I'm going to say incident ID here. Here we go. So that's going to put in a loop because it's a list of rows here. And also I'm going to drag and drop add row inside that table also. Here we go. That's done. Then comma. The next value here it's called um, name and then the postcode. Okay, so I'm going to put name. So see the format I'm putting? So I'm just adding only the column names I want. So in the name, I'm going to say I want to map the, I don't know, something I'm going to take. Um, just take business service. It doesn't matter what it is. I'm just showing an example here how, uh, you know, how can I map. Then the next one here is the post code. So again, post code, then double quotes, and just prior to that, I know it's it's not a meaningful name I'm mapping, but uh, you know, it's it's an example. So I'm mapping those fields. So I know I want to update ID, name, and postcode against these values into that um, into the array table here. Yeah. Right, okay, so the next thing here is removing the row here, mapping the combos to output. So I could say here like this, I could put some meaningful name like uh, each values. That's what we want, each values we want to map it to the next table, yeah. So here under the row, I could say each values output and the table again see the table name is the output of that compose so now see what's going to happen then so you can see here see it's been updating in id and all that getting updated here so it's coming quite fast now there there are a few values there i think it's done yes so so you can see i added a compose and I mapped each and every values coming from the list. So, and that's a format it is suspecting into the next add a row into a table inside the row value. See that? Yeah. So that's the way you can insert uh, the values. What, what the user earlier was trying to do here is directly taking the values, the array collection. So the values I shown you earlier here the value that's that's when it was mapping earlier why it doesn't work is a couple of things this is an array you got more than one value and also it got other field names or data e tag internal id all that extra elements there so it's never going to work that way actually so if you want to map it using the dynamic um, um, the values the way you need to map is you need to put a combo statement under the combos you need to declare the every field name um, i mean if you don't have one of the fields like postcode you don't need to pass it you know you can come i can completely ignore this so the excel field only going to get update with id and the name that's it yeah so that's not a problem but at least it expects the id and the name whatever you are constructing here it should expect those column names in your target excel sheet Okay, so hope this is useful and uh, thank you for watching.